Welcome existing Axion users. In this video I'm going to bring you up to speed on our migration across to Polygon and what you need to know. First of all, please make sure to press that like button and subscribe to make sure you don't miss any future updates. If you're not sure why we've moved to Polygon and want to learn more, you can watch this video here which will explain everything. But basically, the transaction fees on Ethereum had got out of hand with it costing hundreds of dollars to do anything on the network. Polygon allows us to do the same, but for fractions of a penny for each transaction. Due to some of the complexities of staking and the accelerator, we decided on a full migration away from ETH and over to Polygon, instead of some form of multi-chain system where we could exist on both chains. The contract on Ethereum has been paused as of 19th of October, and the tokens which you have in your wallet on ETH have no value anymore. Our advice to you is that you hide them. Simply click on the token, Click on the three dots and press hide. This will hide them from showing up in your MetaMask and get them out of your way. Users don't need to bridge the old tokens across to the new chain as everyone has been airdropped exactly the right amount of tokens on the Polygon network and all stakes have now been migrated. So what do you need to do in order to get access to your tokens and your stakes? First of all, you need to add the Polygon network to your wallet. If you're using Trust Wallet, it should already be available from a network selection tool. For MetaMask users, the simplest method is to head to our staking platform and press the Switch to Polygon button. As you see here on stake.axion.network, there is a message across the top advising you to switch to Polygon. Once you press this, MetaMask will open. It will ask if you want to allow it to add a network to your MetaMask. You'll see that the network name is Polygon, network URL polygonrpc.com, the chain ID 137. Press approve and press switch network. As you can now see in MetaMask at the top there is a network selection drop down. This is where you can switch between Ethereum and Polygon. Now you have the network added to your MetaMask press connect, click MetaMask and your wallet will connect. If you go to a stake page you should now see any of your old stakes at the bottom of the page and you should see any wrapped Bitcoin that you've earned. The next thing you need to do is add the Axion token contract to your MetaMask in order to see your tokens. I'm going to put these contract addresses on the description of this video so you can simply copy and paste them. So here is the Axion contract. Open up your MetaMask and press import tokens, paste the contract address. You'll see AXN and the decimals 18 automatically pre-fill. Press add and import tokens. You'll now see your Axiom balance here. It's also advisable to add the wrapped Bitcoin contract so that you can see your Bitcoin tokens in your wallet once you withdraw them. And the wrapped ETH token. So I'll add all three of these now. There we go, I can now see my Axion, Wrapped Bitcoin and Wrapped Ethereum balances in MetaMask. So that's basically it for now. You can now connect to our staking platform as long as you're on Polygon. You can see the tokens in your wallet. You can see your existing stakes. And you can see your Bitcoin. So now I'll show you how to withdraw your liquid Bitcoin dividends. Have a look under your stake page, find your accrued Bitcoin divs. You see I've got $20 here, press withdraw. Now this used to cost upwards of $30 to withdraw on the Ethereum chain, so it wouldn't be worth withdrawing such a small amount. But on Polygon, it costs less than a fraction of a penny. So click confirm, and you'll see the transaction is completed. If I click on my MetaMask, I can now see my wrapped Bitcoin balance here. Now it's important to note that you can't send this Bitcoin directly to a centralized exchange like you would on Ethereum because not all of the centralized exchanges accept tokens being sent from Polygon. What is best to do is convert this to either Matic or wrapped Ethereum before you send it and you must be very careful to check that your centralized exchange accepts tokens from Polygon. The ones we know of that do are Crypto.com and Binance. There is also a list of supported exchanges on awesomepolygon.com forward slash CEX. 
All of these exchanges are the ones that Polygon recommend. So when you're on Binance and you're clicking into your, let's say, Matic balance, when you go to deposit, it will give you a choice of which network you want to deposit from. By default, it will be on Ethereum. You need to select Matic. If you were to send tokens from Polygon to an Ethereum centralized exchange deposit address, you will lose those tokens for good. So please be very careful when you are withdrawing these tokens. So what else do you need to know? The only other thing really is Polygon scan. So most people are used to using Etherscan on Ethereum. Now when you click the three dots, you'll see the Polygon scan is the Explorer. Very similar to Etherscan.com. Looks identical, but it will be checking your tokens on Polygon. The only other thing you need to know is how to move funds from Ethereum mainnet across to Polygon. Now your wallet address remains the same on both networks. You can't simply send it to the wallet address. You need to use what's called a bridge to send assets between the two networks. You can access the official bridge via our staking platform. You can use this widget here in order to bridge tokens. Simply connect your wallet. And once you're connected, it will show any assets that you have on Ethereum and allow you to bridge them across to Polygon. If you can't get this bridge to work, simply click this link here and it will take you to the official bridge on its, in its own window. For a full tutorial on how to use the bridge, please click here. So that's pretty much all you need to know for now. Make sure you're staked so that you qualify for upcoming Axiom launches, exclusive airdrops and RDOs. Make sure you are subscribed to our Telegram, Discord, Twitter and of course YouTube to catch all of the latest news.